Kamawana's come down with a fever. What? I've been tending to her, but it just won't go away. She just keeps mumbling over and over about how she doesn't want to take her mom's medicine. Kamawana... We've heard her talk about her mom's medicine before, haven't we? I gather that it's something her mom used to make her take whenever she came down with a cold. It might be something specific. If there's any left, it would be back at her old house in Haria, right? Probably. I don't know if it'll work now that she's a Therian, but I'll go and try to find it. You'll do no such thing. I'm sorry, but the Abbey's still looking for you, and there's no way I'm about to hand you over. Don't try to stop me, Velvet. Look, we'll go to Haria. You stay here and take care of Kamoana. Eleanor. Velvet, if you try to fight Medissa, it won't end well. And I would back her up, too. Look, if we have time to argue about this, we have time to go find that medicine ourselves. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you. Eleanor, why are you going so far out of your way for Kamalana? After my mother was taken from me, I found myself an orphan of the Abbey. I grew up figuring that I'd probably become a nun and spend my life in mourning. But on the night of the advent, my inner resonance awakened. I honestly believed that I had been given the power to change the world for the better, you know? Less sorrow, less suffering. But even after I donned the mantle of the exorcists, I was still pathetic, full of ideals, but so ignorant of the way things really work. That ignorance is what drove me to go after Mahina and take her away from Kamoana. I can't change the past, but at the very least, I can atone. I'd do anything to give her a chance. Uh. All right, then. She's in your hands. We'll be as quick as we can. What? What was that I just felt? Lafayette? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just... I don't know how to explain it, but I sensed something, and it wasn't good. It's like something dark dug itself into my chest. Eleanor's the same as always, right, Rokuro? Nothing different? Yeah, same old fired-up Eleanor. At least, that's what she projects. thinking of going this way, you should reconsider. And why is that? A real nasty demon's taken root up in Haria village. It's a huge troll with a big old club. 
And this isn't the first village the brood has taken out. Did you say... a troll? You didn't happen to hear if the troll was wearing a large jewel, did you? Yeah. I hear the greedy beast's been going around stealing all sorts of treasure. It's... a demon. Oh. What's wrong? I... I'm fine. It's nothing. If you say so. Hey, Laffy said's your partner. You realize that he can probably sense your worries? I don't care if you keep secrets from the rest of us, but you should at least be straight with him. You're right, Rokuro. I should. I'm sorry, Laffy said. That's okay. I don't know how much help I could be anyway. Well, having someone listen would be help plenty. I think the demon that Bloodwing mentioned could be one that attacked my village. Is that... when you got your scar? It was when a group of giant trolls descended on our home. They were after a jewel housed in our shrine. A jewel called Eleanor. Same name as you. It means light. The jewel shone brilliantly, even when in total darkness. It gave its blessings upon our village, and in turn, we safeguarded it for generations. During the attack, my mother and I fled with the jewel to keep it from falling into the demon's hands. But we didn't get far. I got hurt, and my mother... She... used the jewel to draw their attention away from me. She died, protecting me. I see. So if the demon possesses this Eleanor jewel, you'll know it attacked your village. And that it's responsible for your mother's death. Exactly. If you want vengeance, I've got your back. It sounds like this one will put up a fight. But you know Velvet. She doesn't like us calling the shots. Knock yourselves out. If there's one thing I can connect with, it's wanting revenge. Just so we're clear, this... thing isn't the reason I joined the Exorcist. This thing? You talk of avenging your family, and it's just this thing? My mother said, stay strong and keep living. As she lay dying, she begged me to survive. And I want to be that person. I want to be strong. Right now, my first priority is to find Kamoana's medicine. That's all I'm saying. Hey, whatever. It's none of my business. But I better not hear you complaining if I end up devouring that demon first. Got it? I have to be strong. I have to be strong. For Kamoana and my mother. <sighs> Did that weird feeling just come back? Yeah. <laughs> seeing any of those demons we heard about. Let's look for the medicine while we can. Hey, this is what we're looking for? I think so. Hey, there's a note attached to it too. A note? Is it instructions on how to prepare the medicine? No, it's more like directions on how to administer it. This medicine is extremely bitter. Kamoana hates taking it. If she develops a fever while I'm away, you need to do specific things to get her to take it. There are three ways. Look, it's wearing a jewel. That's 
it. That's Eleanor. Then this must be what killed Eleanor. Ah! Oh, Eleanor! Go give her some help. You killed my mother! I hate you! I hate you! Eleanor, calm down. I don't think she can hear you right now. All we can do now is help her fight. You're right, but if this is truly a part of me, I can't help but empathize with Kamoana. If she ever found out the truth of what I did to her mother, I know exactly how she'd feel. She'd want to kill me. I... I don't know about... It's only natural. You said so yourself. I can't stand it. It's eating me up inside. I keep telling myself I did it for her own sake, but I... I've just been lying. I'm horrible. If Kamoana ever attacked me, maybe I'd end up killing her too. Just to save my own worthless skin. That's not who you are. It is exactly who I am. And besides... Kamoana's only alive because she ate her own mother. I have a hard time believing that any salvation awaits someone like her. Ah, uh, of course. I get it now. You've been carrying this pain for a long time. My mother told me to stay strong and keep living. I'm only here right now because she sacrificed her life. And yet, I'm selfish. Pathetic. I'm so, so sorry, Kamoana. <laughs> mother! This is bad. She's exuding malevolence. No! Don't try to carry the burden all by yourself! Ah! If we don't do something, Lafayette's going to lose his vessel. It's fine. Let her spill it all out. Imbecile! Without a vessel, he'll turn into a dragon! All hell will break loose! Method one, wrap the medicine in sweet starch paper. This only works about half the time. Usually she just eats the paper and spits the medicine back at you. Method two, mix it in with her meals without telling her. It tends to make the food bitter. 
They think she's catching on. It's gotten harder to trick her and she may refuse to eat. Method three, pinch her nose and force her to swallow it. But be very careful. She will struggle and try to bite. You don't want to lose a finger. Is this really the time? Is that... the note you found? Yes. It's the one Mahina left with her daughter's medicine. Her duties must have often taken her away. Someone else had to watch Kamoana. Her fevers are caused by mental distress, but for some reason she believes that these bitter berries are medicine. If she takes one, her mind will stop racing and she will calm down. I realize that this is an awful lot to ask, but please, I love her very much. Please make sure that she takes her medicine, no matter what you have to do. She can be awfully stubborn, but deep down, she's just a kind-hearted girl who's very, very lonely. Please, please do what you can for her. I can't thank you enough for your help. I didn't realize that her mother was... so... <laughs> yeah, it looks like her mom had a bit of a forceful streak with her, doesn't it? Nobody's a saint in this world, not even our own mothers. If they need to, they'll lie and use force. You do absolutely whatever it takes to protect your child. The resolve... to protect your child. Well, Eleanor, have you calmed down now? Yes. I apologize for my behavior. So, what are you going to do? Now that you've been asked by both Medissa and Kamoana's mom. I guess... No. I'll make sure she takes the medicine. I swear, she will get better. Do whatever you feel you need to. Alright, get a move on, guys. Let's hurry back to Kamoana. Fee, are you holding up okay under the malevolence? I'm fine. It's Eleanor I'm worried about. She'll manage. That woman takes no half measures. Not with life, not with malevolence, and not with fighting to overcome it. She will get through this. That's just who she is. Yeah, you're right. guys what are you molting this is serious kamoana's gone delirious from her fever she turned into a therian and went crazy where's medissa she used herself as bait to lure kamoana away and keep anyone here from getting hurt they look like they were headed for mount killer house but i'm not sure how long medissa will be able to hold out we need to go after them are you all right with me taking the lead yes go ahead
Mama Moana, honey. You're hungry, right? It's okay. You can eat me if you need to. If it means you'll go back to your sweet, normal self. Stop! Come, Moana. I've got your mom's medicine right here. You're lying! It's true. Your mom heard you had a fever, so she sent us this medicine to give to you. No! I hate it! It tastes so bitter! It's okay. It's not bitter. Your mom figured out a way to make it sweet, just for you. I don't believe you! You're lying! Lying! It's true. Here, see? to me I know I know I'm really sorry Kamalana but I had to Kamalana's fever has finally broken she seems to be sleeping soundly well that's one crisis averted Eleanor I couldn't have done this without you Thank you. I was just following your example. You're really prepared to pull out all the stops for her, aren't you? I am. I don't know how this will all end up, but it just feels like the right way. I may be weak, but as long as I can stay true to myself and live life as fully as I can, I figure my mom will maybe understand. You already seem pretty strong to me, Eleanor. Seriously? What could ever make you think that? It's the parts you don't think about that are the strongest. That doesn't even make sense! <laughs> a mother's not ever going to be that hard on her child, no matter how they turn out. Mothers just want their children to be well, and to live a happy life. I'm sure that's what yours meant for you. You think? Sounds right to me. If you ever become a mom yourself, you'll understand. I can't say I plan on it right now, but... duly noted. Eleanor! What's wrong? Why is your face all red? Is it? It's just... Uh... You see... We're just having a little girl talk amongst ourselves. You're free to join if you like, though. What? Um... No thanks! Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have teased him so much there. I may not be a mother, but I think I do understand. When I'm around Lafayette said and Kamalana... Strong or weak... Level-headed or a little lost, it doesn't matter. All kids deserve to have a good life. <laughs> 